Hello everybody, this is Nerd Tutorials here, and on the second part of this video will be Marcus Phoenix 121, and together today we are going to tell you how to get the homebrew channel on your Wii. First, you need an SD card. I recommend a 2 gig or a 1 gig, but you can use a s smaller, a really small one, like 8 megabyte or something. Okay, so first, you go to the first link in the description uh, to weeboo.org, and it should look like this banner bomb. On the right, click on download. Pick which one. I'm gonna use version one. Read it. If if yours is if your Wii is version 4.2, then get version two. If it's if yours is not, then get version one. I'm gonna get version one. Then you click on download right there. Then you save it. Okay, and then go to the second link in the description, Homebrew Browser, go to the right and click download, and save it. And then go to the third link in the description, Hack Me Installer version 0.6. Go ahead and click on it and save that to your desktop. And clear list. Okay. And now you have these three items on your desktop. Okay. I don't have an SD card with me, so you want to take this and extract it. You either have to have window or win zip, something like that. And then put this folder in your SD card, just on the top. Don't put it any in, in any other folders, just put it right on top. Don't rename it or anything, just right there. And then, go ahead and do hack me installer, extract that. And open that and take out boot.elf and put that right next to private not in it but next to it then you could go ahead and delete the folder you extracted it I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and delete that now you have the homebrew browser now you extract that go ahead and delete the readme and so you have that what you want to do is create a new folder and name it apps just like that and put the homebrew browser in there so in your SD card it's just these three items that's all you can have other stuff if you like use it for your phone or something but just these three items that's all apps private and boot.elf that's all you need now I'm going to stop the video and send it to Marcus Phoenix what's up you guys me Marcus Phoenix 121 so so far you should have the homebrew channel and the homebrew browser so the next thing you do is plug this SD card into your Wii. All right, right there in the SD card spot. All right, then go over here to your TV. All right, so the next thing you do is uh, go 
to the options at the bottom left hand corner of the screen and go to data management channels and you see right here where it says we click on SD card and then it should say load boot dot dol slash l and it said if you paid you were scammed that just means that if you guys paid for this thing you were scammed if you try to get the hack so the next thing you do is click yes and then yeah it just reminds you if you paid you were scammed right, so this should pop up all right, and just wait a little bit and then at the bottom it should say press 1 to continue wait for that to pop up so now it popped up, now I click 1 alright and all this stuff will pop up right here Hack me installer version 0 0.6 blah 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 alright so the thing you want to do is click continue scroll up with the control pattern and we get, keep going up till it says install homebrew channel this install dvdx and boot me do not work so just click install homebrew channel and click yes continue and it's installing right now so just wait and it's a success so click continue go to exit and then it will go take you to the homebrew channel All right so next what you should have since you, you will have this the cheat manager gecko this thing and the Wii radio you won't have that because you have to get that on apps on the homebrew browser so the only thing you should have is this thing homebrew browser browse homebrew apps click on it all right it should say it should say this scroll down on it whatever that says all right click load all right and then this will pop up it's, you have to have Wi-Fi connection for this, by the way. And uh, right now it's checking everything. It's getting all the homebrew lists and everything. And that should pop up. All right, so here we go. All right, now you got the homebrew browser, which is what gets you games and stuff. So now I'm going to teach you guys how to get apps, which are the games or demos or emulators or games or media or utilities. If you guys mainly want the Homebrew channel for hacking, this is what you should get. All right, it's called it's called Cheat Manager. Chica, yeah, it's called Cheat Manager. It's this one right here. You click on it. You click download. It says update here because I already installed it. But it'll say click download. And you'll download it and you'll wait for it. And then yeah, that's that. And then it'll install. And then you just go back and here's all the demos, they have a bunch of this, they have a huge list of that, they have Nintendo 64 emulators, they have Super Nintendo, they have everything basically, and they have some cool games, so I'm going to show you guys how to get an app for what you guys would call it, game, alright, so I'm just going to get a random one, ping, click download, and just wait for it to load, it's downloading right now. And that that's done. So just click home on the Wii and hold it. And then it'll take you back to the homebrew channel. And as you can see I have ping. And you click load and it tells you how to play it right here in the instructions. Alright. And then you play it by moving the control pad up or down. It's pretty gay. <laughs> pretty boring gay game is what I should have said. It's pretty boring. This one. Some of their games are really cool, like they have Wii Doom and everything and stuff. It's it's, it's pretty fun. And then yeah. So that's how to get the Homebrew channel and Homebrew browser on your Wii and how to download apps. So subscribe to me. Marcus Phoenix and Nerd Tutorials. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later. And if you guys have any suggestions on videos for we, on making videos, so just uh, send us a message or leave a comment. Alright, see you guys later. Peace.